today's video is all about Christmas time. Yep, it's Christmas time. And this video is a Christmas video. And the last video we're gonna have until we come back from our Christmas vacation. So, you like my Christmas hat? It's got red sparklies and the, the holly berries and some snow. <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of fun. You'll probably see me um, wearing this again the next time we do Zoom. But we've got, I've got three activities for you to try out if you get to try them out. I know you have your work packets that we give you, but this is just another set of activities that you can try if you already finished those or you just want to do some more Christmas stuff. So let's start with the first one and it has to do with none of these. Now it's not exactly the way that it would look with a curve. There's a piece that didn't come with it. But it does look like fun. I can't think. Um, I see two new colors on this. One, two, white, red. And if you notice, do you see how it just goes over and over and over again? Red, white, red, white. Well, that to me sounds like a pattern. And we've done patterns before. So, we're going to try and make a candy cane pattern. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, I cut out a piece of paper into a candy cane shape. And I also cut some extra strips to make my pattern. So the first color I'm starting with, red. I need another color to go on top. Sparkly, we'll call it gray. So I wanna make that happen again. Red. What color should I use next? Yep, sparkly. Sparkly gray. Now this pattern's gonna keep going and going and going. So what do I need next? Red, you got it. First comes red, then comes gray, then comes red, then comes gray, then comes red. What comes next? What do you think? Sparkly! I love it! Let's try another one. This time, we're gonna add a three color. We're gonna add an extra color to make it a three color pattern. We started with red. Now we have our sparkly gray. And the third color is green. So, we have to make that repeat all over again. So what do you think will come after green? Mm-hmm. Red, because that's what started it. Then it's going to be sparkly gray. And then green. You got it. All the way up. First comes red, then comes gray, then comes green, then comes red, then comes gray, then comes green. What comes next? You got it! It's the color red! <laughs> That's how you would make a three color pattern all the way up. Now let's try another activity. That was pretty fun, yes? I like, I like that. I think that we would be able to make that happen. Okay, let's do the next one. It has to do with your hand and tracing or painting. Kind of like when you did the turkeys, but it's something else. Okay, let's start that one. Okay, I have my white piece of paper. I'm gonna turn it 
so I can fold it in half like a card. You just fold it in the middle, press down, and it looks just like a card. That's part one. Next, I'm gonna paint, take my white paint, just like I did with the turkeys. I had color on the brush to paint on my hand. I am gonna paint my fingers. That's part two. Okay, painted fingers, ready to press. I gotta press all my fingers onto the paper. And when it lifts up, ooh, wonder what that's gonna be. Okay, now that I did that, I'm gonna turn it around. Huh, what does that look like? To me, it looks like a Santa beard, but it's missing his face, his eyes, and of course his red hat. Let's get that going. So that was a Santa, but in case you want to do something else with your hand to another shape, you can take a green paper and trace your hand, just like you did with the turkeys, all around. Trace, 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 and when you're done, you cut it out. Okay, all cut. Now, I'm going to take a brown paper my green handprint upside down, glue it to the brown paper. Now what does that look like? A tree! Let's decorate it. Okay, I took my tree and I put it on a white piece of paper and then added some glue. Now it's time to sparkle it up with glitter. That's my favorite. I just love sparkles. And make sure that you have something underneath your paper so that you can collect all the sparkles that come out because sparkles tend to go everywhere. <laughs> and you can use whatever colors you'd like. I used gold. I'm going to use a little bit of red. And they'll mix together because there's so many of them. And that's cool because Christmas trees are always very colorful. Let's keep adding some more. Oh, how did that one feel? Cold on your hand like before with paint? Or did you just trace? Or did you try both? Either one. One, the other, the Santa, the Christmas tree, anything. I just hope you try it. Okay, this is the last activity. Let's get it started. So for this activity, you're going to need a box. Something that you can put a poster board inside of, or paper, whichever kind of paper you can use, inside the box, and that it's deep so that what we use for painting does not come out of the box. Okay, after you've asked mom which ornaments you can use, you take them and you place them in your box. These are what we're gonna use to paint with. Not on, but with. It's so fun because they roll everywhere. Let's get the paint. So you can do it two ways. I put paint on my plate. I got a spoon and I put it on the paper. So it's already there. Scoop some on, put it on your paper. Or you can take an ornament, take it from the top, and dip it in the color from the plate. I'll dip that one in red so it's get, it gets it on the bottom. Take the other one and dip it in the green. So that all that color is there, ready to roll around. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, let's see how it goes. You pick up the box, you roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. 
Let all of those ornaments roll all around the paper and that paint will start to move everywhere. See how it moves? You can go fast or slow, just be safe. And make sure those ornaments stay inside the box. There they go! And here's what it looks like. Wow! I also added some sparkle afterward, just to give it a little bit more shine. Wow, what did you think of that? That one's, I, I think that one's pretty fun, because you get to move your whole body, move the ornaments all around in the box, and I love sparkles. I love to put sparkles on things, so I hope you tried that too. Let's take a look back really quick at all the activities. Thank you.